All right, everybody, we're here for the third reason for uh, using spreadsheets. And what you see here is we did our first one with organizing data, our second one for making a graph. Now, our third one here is I want to show you how to do math. What's really nice about a spreadsheet, it does math. There's two different ways that you can do math easily. And we're going to start with right here. We're going to add up our total games for each of these teams. And when you want to do adding or subtracting or any kind of math, you want to start off in a cell and hit the equal sign. The equal sign does math. It tells the spreadsheet, okay, looks like I'm going to do some computation. Now you could enter in numbers, seven plus eight, and it says 15, right? We don't want to do that. I want you to use the equal sign and then refer to cells, meaning I'm going to click this cell right here. See how it says B3? I, I clicked B3. I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to hit C3, and I'm going to hit return for enter, and it gets me my total of 16 games. It does the math for you. Now, everybody, you're probably saying, well, why do we have to do that? I know what 13 plus 3 is. Well, there's a secret little thing I want to show you here, but I want to do it one more time. Hit the equal sign. I'm going to hit B4 plus C4, and I'm going to hit enter. 16 games. Now, here's the little secret. I'm going to zoom in on this on the recording. I can't zoom on it now. But see this little, this, little bot, this little button here at the bottom corner of the cell? When I hover over it, it changes my cell to a skinny plus. If I take this and drag it down my entire spreadsheet that I want the similar formula to do, it'll just do it for me. So if you look up here, look, we have B3, C3, B4, C4, B5, C5, B6, C6. It does that work for you with one little click and drag. See this? See it? It's very cool. Mr. Nicholas was here a couple years ago. He saw me do that and he flipped his lid. He was so happy. So he was very excited that I was showing you guys this. All right, so that's using basic math. Now let's look at win percentage. Win percentage, let's use the equal sign, is the total number of wins divided by the total number of games. So I'm going to hit the equal sign. I'm going to hit 13 wins. And then I'm going to hit the division symbol, which is a backslash. Now, here's what I did before. I know we added all the games here, but I'm going to use parentheses. And I'm going to hit this symbol plus this one again because I'm adding these two up divided by the wins and I'm going to hit enter for 81.25%. Now, let's do that one more time. Equals the wins divided by, in parentheses, the wins plus the losses. Close the parentheses, there's your percentage. Now let's do that secret that I told you before. Click this little plus sign, drag down. There's our percentages. Now, boys and girls, do, does, do those four numbers look like percentages? No, they don't. I'm going to choose this entire row. I'm going to go over here, this button right here, and I'm going to format this as a percent. 81.25%. I'm going to slide over one button here, and I'm going to... I don't like seeing those decimals or the, or, the, or the zero there, so I'm going to move it down one. So we have those percentages right there. So now I changed that to percent, so we did that. Let's go down here. There's another way to do math on a spreadsheet, and that is using formulas. This symbol right here in the top right corner is called functions. And the top five functions, if you click the arrow, there are hundreds of functions in here. And I know how to use a couple of them, but not a lot. But we're going we're gonna to find the sum of all the wins in our division in that cell. So I'm going to click sum. Now somebody tell me what sum means. Go ahead. The answer to an addition problem. <laughs> That's correct. Now, notice we got parentheses there. Okay, what it wants me to do is it wants me to click and drag uh, to the numbers or cells that you want to add. So I'm just going to do this. Hit enter. And that's 28 wins right there. Very simple. Now, if we use our little sneaky toy, I can go right here to this to the button, come across here, and it's going to add up this column, the same formula, and it's going to be 36. So look at this. 3 plus 7 is 10, plus 10 is 20, plus 16, 36. They did it. Now, I don't want to add up all the games. So 
We have a 28 out of 36. Let's see what the win percentage is for our division. So we're gonna start with equals. We're gonna now. This is interesting. This is new. They give you, they give you uh, suggested um, formulas. And it looks like this is the one I want. B8 divided by B8 plus C8. Correct. I hit that, and in our percentage for the division is 43.8 percent, and that is correct. Now, for average, the average total wins for the division, we're gonna use the same function, but we're gonna use average. And then I'm gonna highlight my four, tap, my four cells, hit enter, and the average amount of wins is seven. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my little secret for the losses. The average amount of losses is nine. And then let's do that over here. Once again, we're gonna do B9 plus C9 divided, or B9 divided by B9 plus C9. And our percentage should be the same at 43.8%. So do you see how we had, we started with our first video with a very little bit of data, but now look at it. Look at all that data we have just from wins, losses, and four teams. Some good stuff, guys. There you go. There's